Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel uh, It's another day Another video guys Today's video is Indonesia's quite rise As an Asian superpower The video is by Varacity And the link is in the description In case you guys wanted to check it out So without further ado Let's get started with this video When thinking of Asian superpowers People automatically think of Japan Korea And China But shocking to most one of the highest ranked economies in Asia is actually Indonesia. That's true, it's true. Located a lot of people don't take about it. Like... Greater Asia and Australia, as well as between the Indian and Pacific because Oceans. Because Indonesia's always Indonesia been like so has high, been dubbed right? The Emerald of the Equator. Oh, the yes. beauty and power oh. of this overlooked country now boasts to be a shining example of Beautiful, what a hidden gem can achieve. In this video, I can't we'll wait go to visit Indonesia. again. It's quickly growing because I didn't really get to see all those beautiful, one of the oh man, warm areas like Bali the and like the beaches. It's easy to oh, like these why areas. Indonesia is often overlooked regarding it's ranking okay. economies. It's a Southeast Asian country that has been colonized by Westerners. The Portuguese, the Dutch, the Germans, and the British. Oh, wow. Colonized countries tend to have weaker economies due to their need to recover from their losses during colonization. Naturally, Indonesia had to recuperate its losses from all the years under foreign rule. From its year of independence in 1945 until before the introduction of the new order in the 1960s, Indonesia's economy was deplorable, to say the least. The colonization of foreign forces heavily impaired Indonesia's production and export of rubber and oil. Following this, Robert, Indonesia's attempt to quickly repair economic conditions was macroeconomic solutions while ignoring microeconomic problems, mm. resulting in inflation, poverty, and hunger. Fortunately, the years after the 1960s were Come a turning point. The new order administration, led by then-President Suharto, was put into effect and stabilized the currency decreased inflation and attracted foreign aid and investment. Nice, nice. They solely focused on revitalizing the economy while enforcing strict laws which improved the country's overall organization. Nice. Good. The reforms in the country's policies in the 1980s resulted in an even better rise mm -hmm. in the economy. In fact, from 1989 to 1997, Indonesia's economy was yesterday. growing at an amazing rate of 7% during nice. this time frame. While the 1997 Asian financial crisis didn't spare Indonesia, the country was quick to its feet and continued its economic growth. Not bad. While Indonesia's GDP has seen an upward trajectory since the 1980s, its growth in the 21st century is what's most impressive. Sitting at a GDP of 986.8 billion US dollars in 2000, Indonesia is projected to have a GDP of 5,800.6 billion dollars by 2027. Much of Indonesia's 21st century success in economics can be attributed to their 20-year development I thought that would be like 5 trillion, but no. to 2024. This development plan, called the RPJMN, which translates to National Medium Term Development nice. Plan in English, is segmented to one 20-year long-term development plan, as well as four five-year medium term nice. development plans, each with different development priorities. For example, in terms of environment, the 2015 to 2019 RPJMN focused on developing renewable and sustainable resources, what a while the current 2020 to 2024 RPJMN focuses on addressing deforestation, mm. forest degradation, and other environmental conditions. Yeah, well, that help with the weather Each too. Medium like term the small RPJMN builds upon the previous pollution. one in order to have a methodological process of advancement in their economy. Unlike other countries where there is a clear sector that does the heavy lifting for the country's GDP, like manufacturing for China or petrol for Middle Eastern mm -hmm. countries, Indonesia's rise in their economy is thanks to multiple sectors Which of their awesome, economy performing well. Because you're not reliant manufacturing is the biggest on one thing like the Arab market, country, just oil. Which is responsible for around 20% of the country's GDP. Textiles nice. and garments, food and beverages, electronics, automotive and chemicals are the most mass-manufactured industries in That's Indonesia. Awesome. In fact, Indonesia is currently the 10th largest manufacturing nation hmm. in the world. In addition, manufacturing employs one-fifth of Indonesia's wow. working age, employing about 25 million That's workers. Awesome. With the current rate of manufacturing and production resulting in an average of 4% nice. annual growth, coupled with the government's plan to further enhance current rates. Indonesia has a high chance of entering the world's top 10 economies through manufacturing alone. Wow. Despite the success of their manufacturing sector, agriculture still yes, makes up a huge part of the country's economy. Yes, there's a lot of farming, that's economy. for sure. 
making up around 14.43% of the country's economy. Indonesia produces a whole bevy of products and commodities. The most prominent being yes, rice, I saw a lot of rice butter, tapioca, peanuts, natural rubber, cocoa, coffee, nice. palm oil, copra, poultry, beef, pork, and eggs. Palm oil especially is very vital to Indonesia's agriculture and economy, as Indonesia is the biggest producer of palm oil in the world, producing half of the world's palm oil <sighs> supply. Other sectors that contribute to Indonesia's economic growth smaller. include the oil and mining industry. Indonesia is the biggest producer of nickel, yes, we, the second biggest producer of gold. We learned that yesterday. While a lot of Indonesia's economic success is attributed to laws, politics, as well as the previous and current administration's governance, geographic, political, and geopolitical features. I remember, are also I, I took those buses. In <laughs> success. Geographically, Indonesia is in a very good location. As mentioned earlier, Indonesia sits right between Greater Asia and Australia, as well as the Indian and Pacific Oceans, making Indonesia a sensible trade route for surrounding for sure. countries. As the largest archipelagic country in the world, it only makes sense that Indonesia capitalizes on its own geostrategic advantages oh. by establishing itself as the world's Man, maritime look at that beauty. axis. Despite being a Next great time I'm sure for that's a where I want to go. Center, Indonesia is sleep on the beach. To make itself Maybe have some country. seafood. <laughs> Fresh seafood. Also, another reason why Indonesia has quietly risen as a top Asian superpower is the fact that Indonesia is the de facto leader of ASEAN, ASEAN, which the is the leader? Association wow. of Southeast Asian nice. Nations. Indonesia is a founding member mm. of ASEAN, which was established in 1967. This entails a political and economic awesome. union of all 10 participating countries. Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, nice. and Vietnam, which promises to accelerate economic growth through the help of one another, while also maintaining peace and stability. Yes, the most important thing is peace. Indonesia is also a member of APEC, or the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation an intergovernmental forum that consists of Asian countries as well as other countries surrounding the Pacific Ocean such as Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Peru and the United States, among many other countries. APEC promotes the free trade of products between APEC members, which allows trading of agricultural products and raw materials. APEC is also considered one of the highest level multilateral blocs and the oldest forums in the Asia-Pacific region. Because of Indonesia's rising potential to become a superpower, as well as its strategic geographic location, established superpowers like China and the United States are both seeking to strengthen their continued relationship with Indonesia. Which is awesome, which is good. While Help and show Indonesia grow. While about the China-United States feud, Lowy Institute's 2021 poll reveals that Indonesians find the United States more important than China for Indonesia's hmm. economy, with 18% voting for the United States compared to 14% voting for China. Yes. Additionally, 4 in, in 10 Indonesians United prefer States investments from the United States. Then uh, I still prefer for China. longer than China, as right? As it stands, so, Indonesia sense. remains neutral and has no bias to where it sides, though the interest of the two most powerful nations in the world shows how important Indonesia is, causing a cascading effect of foreign investors to be more attractive to train station, I think. Indonesia had a roaring 2022 nice. with an economic boom of 5.3%, the highest since 2013. Wow, since 2013. It looks like the country's economic streak has no end in sight. Indonesia wow. remains the world's top producer of nickel and palm oil, and the second best to many wow. other products. While the Indonesian government states that 2023 might not be as strong of an increase like 2022, the government is still positive that a 5% increase is possible for 2023. Nice. We'll find out soon, inshallah, Indonesia since we're in December already. fulfilling its 20-year RPGMN plan in hopes of fully realizing the goal of the plan, with outlooks looking positive given the current state of the growth of the country's economy. Needless to say, Indonesia has earned its rightful place at the top spot of the ASEAN economy awesome. rankings and is headed to be one of the top 10 economies not just in Asia, but across the whole world as well. That's awesome to hear this good uh, news about uh, Indonesia uh, currently, as well as what they're planning in the future. I see there's a lot of uh, investment in infrastructure, like they showed highways, ports, and also in different industries like textiles, 
uh, manufacturing so that's perfect you know inshallah um the more uh, i hope that you know if there's um manufacturing and there's more electric bikes and electric cars that go on the road that'll help a little bit with the um, uh, pollution for example in in the air uh, and um, also we'll take indonesia to the next uh, step i think you know the video that we watched yesterday indonesia within the next couple of years it could be the on the top uh, four biggest uh, economies uh, in the world which is uh, mashallah crazy so uh, more to it that's awesome to see inshallah i hope that uh, things even uh, improve more uh, as i told you guys in the past you know i, I want to my my thought is that inshallah one day i want to live in in indonesia so um you know the more things improve the easier it's going to make me to make it make it for me to make that uh, decision so really really cool guys one thing that I wanted to check with you guys was I want to know which city, which province, which part of Indonesia are you watching this video from? So if you could please put in the comment section below. I'd love to kind of understand where most of you guys are watching these videos from. So inshallah, the next time I come to Indonesia, I can try to do a meet and greet or gathering or whatnot. So please, if you can take a few seconds, just let me know. Put in the comment section, Jakarta, Bandung, Aceh, Bali, wherever you're watching this video from put in the comment section. We'd we'll love to kind of get an idea where you guys are uh, coming from. And even if you're not coming from Indonesia, you're watching the video from somewhere else, put that as well. I don't mind. I'd love to find out where you guys are watching this video. So thank you very much again, uh, guys, for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take yourself and family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.